Welcome everyone to my first official video um, and welcome to the month of February. So basically my plans for February are a freezer and pantry challenge. So this is one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. I get really excited um, seeing all the meals ideas that people come up with, with you know the random stuff left over in your pantry. Um, I really like to see how low people can get their budgets. Um, and really just getting creative with cooking. Um, my pantry and freezer are stacked at the moment. Through trimester one of my pregnancy, I wasn't paying so much attention to my grocery budget like I usually would. Um, I was kind of just buying whatever I felt like and I would get it home and wouldn't feel like it. So there's definitely lots of ingredients to use. I think um, week one will be easy after that, we're going to have to get a bit creative. Um, so basically with this video series, I'll be posting once a week and that'll include um, how my freezer, pantry and fridge are looking. So you can kind of see it empty out as the weeks go on. Um, you'll also be seeing um, my grocery haul. So what I bought for the week and how much I've spent. And I'll also be showing you guys some of the meals and snacks that we have throughout the week with all the random stuff we've got left. Um, in our fridge or freezer. So something that you won't see included in my grocery hauls, um, there's two things mainly um, that we don't include in our grocery budget. So we don't include dog food, so we buy that bulk on like a um, pet food website, and also protein powder. So we buy that from bulk nutrients, um, so we buy that every couple of months. So you won't see that included in our budget. Um, Things that we do include in our grocery budget, um, cleaning products, um, personal hygiene products, obviously food, coffee, fresh produce, our cleaning products, so um, also dishwashing tablets, laundry powder, diapers and nappies, so Blake isn't toilet trained yet, so um, just keep that in mind. Um, when you see the grocery budget, it won't just be based around food. Uh, so to give you guys an idea, we usually spend about $120 a week on groceries. So I am quite budget savvy when it comes to that sort of thing. Generally, there's not a lot of waste. I do um, shop at uh, discount grocery stores. Um, I do buy meat when it's on sale and freeze it straight away. Um, so you'll see a lot of that coming out in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, 120 is pretty good for a family my size for everything that I was talking about but yeah I'm really looking forward to uh, getting it really down this month and just having fun making up some creative meals and snacks so yeah here's week one welcome to my pantry so we'll start off with the bottom shelf so basically this is just some random appliances um, if we move up to the next shelf, we've got some uh, drinks, we've got some seasoning packets there, um, got some pasta, rice, quinoa, some tin tomatoes, um, again some more seasoning packets, some, uh, you know, a cup of soups, coconut milk, that sort of thing. Okay, so next shelf, this is where we keep our uh, protein powder and all our baking stuff. So, as you can see, I'm quite stocked up baking-wise. Um, I love to bake. I don't really do it on a weekly basis. It's more for a special occasion, but we have no snacks. So, baking may be the way to do that. Okay, then we've got lots of um, sauces, um, oils, seasonings here, some homemade pickles, now this is usually the little like snack corner. Um, it's looking pretty sad at the moment. So that's the baking. Um, it's also kind of like the breakfast area. So every morning um, Sam and I will have oats for breakfast and Blake will have some um, wheat bix. We add chia seeds to our breakfast as well and just some um, spread. So I add peanut butter to my breakfast. We've got honey as well. Uh, Vegemite and then a massive other thing of peanut butter. And then the top shelves are just random non-food items so after the challenge i will organize all of this hey now the fridge so i've got some cordial i've been addicted to cordial 
during my pregnancy, so that's always there. Some random bevies, milk, um, and like, those are waters. Um, this is my dairy shelf, so you know, I've got some uh, butter, margarine, parmesan, normal cheese, sour cream, cottage cheese, cream cheese, got yogurt, and we've got some homemade yogurt at the back as well. Some more of those pickles and some leftover pesto. Then usually this is the snack side. Um, so we've got a little pear cup for Blake, um, half of a nut butter bar. Um, so these are currently our leftovers that we've been eating during the week. So I'm filming on Thursday today. Um, tomorrow will be grocery shopping day. So we'll have this for dinner and I'll have that for lunch tomorrow. Just some uh, Mexican mints. We've got some rice to go with that and some leftover uh, tin tomatoes. And then we've got our veggie crisper. Don't judge y'all, it's <laughs> not the cleanest, but yeah, we've got some avocado, lettuce, shallots, our homegrown cucumbers, um, some carrots, mushrooms, so some of that will be good for next week. And then condiments. We have about a million different sauces. I'm addicted. I need sauces on everything. Um, so yeah, we're also pretty stocked up on that. So this is freezer number one, so underneath the fridge, so, oh my god, there's just random crap everywhere. Um, so lots of different random, like, bits of chips to use up, bread, we've got some fish, some edamame, some grilled cheese, more bread. Um, you know, we'll start to uncover this as the, the weeks go by. Um, and the bottom shelf is where I store all of Sam's meal prep, so... Um, every week he has, um, from Monday through to Thursday, he has um, a mint sort of Mexican dish. Um, he also has sandwiches. He takes lunch, chicken sandwiches. He has savory muffins. And then also we keep his blueberries that he has in the oats um, every morning. So that kind of makes it easier just having everything um, in there for him. And here is the real reason I need to do a freezer and pantry challenge. So absolutely chockers um so up top we've got some leftover stuff that um are meal prep so for example um i make fresh meals um friday saturday sunday night sometimes we don't get through it all so then i freeze them and put them in here so we'll definitely be having a few leftovers over the next couple of weeks um we've got some random bags of mints so the butcher i go to um and has sales maybe like once a month of $5.99 per kilo lean mints which is crazy cheap so I take advantage of that and break it up into 500 gram um, containers so you got some uh, super dupers Aussie classic um, also got some ice creams down there hmm let me move this one well, frozen vegetable packs I got two. Um, we've even got some acai smoothie um, mix down there so Hmm, that might be good. Um, yeah, ice cream, more frozen veg. Ooh. One or two mini pizzas left over. So yeah, basically this will keep us pretty stocked up for for the challenge in Feb. So um I really the plan is to basically empty out this whole thing. Um and use it up. Um, so this is my little haul for the week. So it came to 44.16, which I'm stoked about. Um, but yeah, as I said, week one's gonna be easy. We've got lots of stuff. So anyway, let's have a little look at what I bought. Okay, so the first thing we've got is a lettuce. Um, so it'll go with the um, Mexican um, salad that I'm going to make. So that was a bargain. That was only um, 89 cents at my local grocer. We've got um, a kilo of zucchinis. So that was, um, yeah, $1.99. Um, we've got some grapes. So that was $1.99 a kilo. So that turned out to be $1.80. A couple of onions, um, some eggs. So that wasn't particularly cheap. That was $3.19. Um, usually I do do um, free range, but at the fruit and veggie store, they had an F plus minimum. Um, so I just got what I could. Um, then we've got some bananas. So they were only 99 cents a kilo. So that was a great deal. Um, blueberries. So that's just a little treat for Blake. Um, it was a 99 cents upon it. So why not? 
Um, then we've got um, a few staples for the week. So we've got some bread um, right there. So none of these are particularly great deals, so I won't go through the price. Um, yeah, some bread and some chicken. So that's to make Sam's uh, sandwiches that he has for lunch throughout the week. Um, we've got some oats, which we have for breakfast every morning. Um, some kidney beans to go in the Mexican salad. Guys, look, look, I was hungry, okay? Um, I try not to do the shops hungry, but I'm pregnant, so that happened. Only a dollar though, so. Um, yeah, I got milk. Um, got a big block of cheese, so that'll also go on the sandwiches. Um, and miscellaneous other things throughout the week, I'm sure. Um, some frozen corn, so I always use that for Mexican dishes, um, as well as, you know, other stuff as well. Um, again, this was because I was hungry. Um, only a dollar, and I figured as like a little snack for me and Blake throughout the week, I can use some of that cheese. Um, and the crackers, um, some feta, so, and spinach. So it basically goes in Sam's savory muffins that he has every week. So yeah, quite a lot of food for only 44 bucks. So stoked with that. Here are the meatball sandwiches. So this is what we had for Friday dinner and Saturday leftovers for lunch. So basically I've linked the meatball recipe below. It's, they're the best meatballs ever. Um, now you can see a bit of color in there. In the sauce, I grated in some zucchini and carrot just to give it some extra veg. Of course, cheese. We ran out of parmesan, so cheddar works fine. Um, and using the last little bits um, of the bread left over. So yeah, that's meal number one. Here's an example of some snacks we've been having this week. So I made these chalk peanut butter balls. Uh, my friend Kelly gave me this recipe. Um, I'll put all the details down below. They are really delicious. Not much sugar, so super healthy as well. Um, and just some apple slices. Okay, here's dinner for tonight. Um, I'm about to head off to work. I do night shifts, so um, that's why it's in a little takeaway container. So I've actually got um, this honey chicken recipe that everyone's been going crazy for on this air fry recipe group I follow on Facebook. Um, so I'll put the details below, but yeah, honey, honey chicken with some rice and then also um, got some green beans as well just so we can get a little veg in. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the Mexican bowl um, that I'll be having for lunches for most of the week. So I like it on a lot of lettuce. I don't have a big enough salad bowl so I'm using a mixing bowl. Um, so yeah, shredded lettuce. We've got our taco mints um, such as like mints, black beans, um, grated veg, so like zucchini, carrot, onions, whatever, yeah. um, and some spices. And then on top, I've put, and then on top, I've put some cottage cheese, sriracha, um, this other really amazing mayo, and um, some lime juice. Let me show you guys. So that's the first sauce. Um, you can get it from Woolies. I absolutely love it. There's Blakey. And of course, my favorite thing in the whole entire world, sriracha. Um, so Blake will have the same. She'll generally have just mainly rice. Um, oh, sorry, there's rice in there as well. Um, Blake will mainly just have um, rice, uh, the mints, um, some cottage cheese and some lettuce on top. So of course she's not gonna have all the spicy sauces. As you can see, she's ready to get into it. So yeah, see you guys next time.